Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use text as an abstract design element in Divi. So let's take a look at what we're designing today. So this is the first design. You can see here we've used this text in the background and we've also used this text for this section above this text in the background. So this is what we'll be creating today. In our second example, we are going to be adding this text onto our image just to, be, just to give you that uh, abstract design and then also finish off with adding this divider section. Okay, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So I'm going to start off by adding a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to new, click on page. So let's call this page abstract. Click on use the div builder and then I'm going to go straight to the visual builder. Right, so the first thing we want to do here is to add our text module. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our columns first. So in this case, we only need a single column. And then I'm going to search for my text module. Select it. And then over here in the text tab, I'm going to paste this code. Now, this is some CSS code. And um, if you'd like to use this, it's on our post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So pretty much what this does is this BR tag here just breaks our text and ha and allows us to have these three rows. So I'm just going to fix that. Okay, like that. Great. So once we've done that, let's go to our design tab and let's add our designs. So first of all, we want to um, come over here to text and change this to Oswald. So I'm going to come over here to text font and then I'm going to search for my uh, font. Select it. And then next, I'm going to come over here on my text size. I'm going to set this to 400. But then for my desktop, I need to set it to, yes, desktop is 400 and tablet is 200. So I'm going to come over here, set this to 200, because ideally we want to make sure that this looks great on all devices. Great. So once we have that, the next thing we want to do is to add our text color. Right. So over here, I'm going to click on text color. And then I'm just going to drag this slider down a little bit so we can get our RGBA values. And then within the brackets, I'm going to paste my color just like that. So notice that uh, the achievement uh, we're getting here in this design is this transparency effects. And this is why we're adding a transparent color. So every time it overlays, it brings this design element, which is great. The next thing you want to do now, because everything is way too close, is to come over here to the line height and set it to 0.5 EM. So I'm going to add my value in here and make sure it's 0.5 like that. So that's looking great. So remember, we're using this as a design element. So what we need to do next is to add our text, which will act as our description for this section. So I'm going to click on save for now. And then I'm going to add a new text module. I'm going to search for it, select. And then again, I'm going to paste my text in here. So again, what I've done here is I've also used that CSS code to break my uh, header header description. So here I have a creative header and then if I break it, the line design comes on the second line, which is exactly what we need. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go ahead into design and we are going to choose our font. So I'm going to start off with my text font and we are going to use Open Sans. So I'm going to come over here and search for Open Sans. We're going to set the size to 20. Next, let's move on to the heading font. So I'm going to scroll down here, click on heading text. So H1 is already selected. So I need to change this to Oswald. So I'm going to come over here to my heading font, select Oswald. And then over here on the size, we're going to set this to 80 pixels. And as a rule of thumb, always go into your mobile settings as well and add the, the right value. So here I'm going to add 42. This just allows you to uh, have a consistent design on all devices. Right, so next we're going to come over here to our text color and I'm just going to paste my text color in here like that. Now we can see that our text here is way below here. Ideally, we want this text to be right in the middle here where we have this background element that we've just created. So in order for us to achieve that, we need to add some negative margins. So I'm going to scroll down here until I get to spacing. And then I'm going to come over here to my top margin and add minus 370. So you can see here straight away that my text has now been pulled up which is exactly what we need to achieve. And then you want to come over here to your tablet as well and uh, make sure that this is set to 200, minus 240. And as you can see here, it's well centered, which is great. Right, so what we need to do next is to add some padding. 
So we're going to add 20% left like that. So while we're here, we can see that the, the, the line spacing here is a bit too much. Let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come back over here to my heading text. And then I'm going to come over here to my line height and just set it to, I'd say 1.1 is fine. Great. And then over here, I'm going to set my font weight to semi bold. So as we can see here, because we added some uh, negative margin, this has now affected our text. So we need to add some padding onto our row. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save here. And then I'm going to come here into my row settings, click on design, spacing, and then I'm going to add 300 pixels to the bottom like that. So now we can see our complete design. Great. So right now we can actually end here and say this is our final design. So as you can see, we have the design element right here in the background and we have our heading for that section. But we can take this a step further by adding a background uh, color to our section. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background and the tab that we need here is the gradient tab. So I'm going to click here and click this plus button to add my first color. So I'm going to click here and this is going to be a, an RGBA color. So I'm going to come here within the brackets and paste my values, move on to the next color and paste my values within the brackets. Like that. And then over here on the gradient direction, I'm going to set this to 90. Okay, so we're almost done. But the final thing that we need to do now is to just make sure that our text here is set to white because right now we have this uh, really uh, this dark background. So in order for us to have great contrast, we need to make this text easier to read by making it white. So let me save here and go in and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to my text module, click on design, text. So right now it's set to dark. I'm going to set this to light. So now we can see this is set to white, but we're not done yet. We need to do the same to the heading text. So I'm going to come over here, click on my heading text color, and then I'm just going to make this white too. And then save. Okay, so that's our design. So you can see here that this, uh, this abstract element is blending very nice here in the background, which is great. Now in our next example, we are going to use a pre-made layout as a starting point. So let's go ahead and do that. So to add our second um, example, I'm going to start off by clicking here on expand settings. Click this plus button here to add our pre-made layouts. And the layout pack we're going to use is the fashion one. So I'm going to click once on this and choose the landing page. Right. So now that I've selected the landing page, we can go ahead now and click on use this layout. Now make note. So if I take a look here, we can see that we have a choice to replace existing content. So that means if I load this layout, it's going to get rid of what we've just designed. But in this case, that's not what we need. So just make sure that this is unchecked. I'm going to click on use this layout and this layout is going to be loaded onto this page. Great. So now that it's loaded, I'm just going to get rid of the layout, the, the uh, sections that I don't need. So I'm just going to come over here to my bin and then just delete that. So this is what we're going to be working on. So I'm just going to delete the rest here on the bottom like that. Okay, so I'll just leave that as it is. Right, so let's come over here and make our changes. So we're going to start off by adding a text module. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, search for my text module, select it. And then over here, I'm going to come and paste my text. So my text is just going to be VIA, VIA. Okay, I'm going to come over here to my design tab. Right, so for the for the font, I'm going to use Source Sans Pro. So I'm going to click on text font, search for Source Sans Pro, like that. The font weight needs to be heavy, so I'm going to select heavy. And then let's come over here on the sizes. So here we're going to start off with 320 for the desktop. And then click this little icon to set my tablet. So I'm going to click on Tablet tab. And then we're going to set this at 290. Then I'm going to come back over here to my desktop. So you can see here that this text is nice and big. So let's come over here to our letter spacing. So we need to set this to minus five like that so that the text is much closer together. And then finally on the text color, we're going to set this to white. So I'm just going to drag this and now we have our design. So let's continue designing this. So the next stage we're going to come, uh, we're going to do is to go to our margins and pull this text up a little bit. So we're going to set this to minus 80 pixels. But sometimes you may want to uh, use different uh, margins depending on the screen size you're working on. Okay, so to do, the, uh, to do our margins, I'm going to come over here to spacing, 
and then I'm going to click on margins and then set this to minus 80. Okay. So you can see here, as soon as I've added my um, negative margin, this has pulled my text up. In fact, I may want it even slightly higher than that. So I'm just going to set it to minus 100. Great. So over here, we're going to make sure that our margin bottom is set to 80. And then on the left, it's set to minus 70. Okay, now we can save. So the next thing we're going to do is to come into this uh, image module and remove the uh, shadow. So I'm going to click here on module settings, design, box shadow, and then just make sure that this is removed because this gives us a much better look. So I'm going to save this for now. Now we need to update the text module here on the left because this text here is not in line with the, uh, the, the font we're using here on the right. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come over here, go into my settings, and then I'm just going to get rid of this and add this. And over here, I'm going to click on design, heading text, and we are going to change this to Source Sans Pro. So on heading font, I'm going to select Source Sans Pro. In fact, I need to make sure that H2 is selected. So I'm going to select uh, Source Sans Pro, and then I'm going to add my text color. So my color matches with my design like that. Then I'm going to adjust my line height as well. Right, so I think 1.1 1, 1 1 is fine. Let's go ahead and save. And then next, we need to get rid of this divider. So I'm going to delete that. And then over here, of course, our color is not in line with our design. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to click this module settings icon, click on design, text. And then I'm going to come over here to text color and add my color. So it's going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to paste my value within these brackets like that. And then we're going to save. So the next thing we're going to do is to just make sure that our colors match our design. So we can see here that this element here in the background behind the image doesn't have the colors for our design. So let's go ahead and fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my row settings, click on, click on background, and then I'm going to come over here on background two and just make sure that I add my colors in here. So I'm going to start off with my first color, just paste it in here like that add my second gradient color, paste it like that. Now it's time to create the section divider. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on design, dividers, and then we want to make sure that our divider comes here to the bottom. So I'm going to select bottom and then I'm going to choose my style. So the style we're going to go with here is uh, this one right here, like that. And straight away, we can see that the colors we're using here do not match our design. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come over here on divide a color. It's going to be a transparent value. So I'm going to add my information between the brackets like that. And then for the divider height, I'm just going to increase this until I get to about 330. In fact, 332 is fine. Okay, so that's looking great. So we can see here that our divider element is behind our design. So what we want to do is to make sure that it's it's in front. So on the divider arrangement, we're going to come over here and make sure that it's on top of the section content like that. Great. So we can see here that our divider section here is way too close to our text uh, elements here that we've just designed. So we're going to we can fix that by adding a custom padding to the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. And then for the custom padding here, I'm going to add 200. So that's looking way much better. So you can play around with these values and uh, until you're satisfied with the design you want. But pretty much this is our final design. I'm going to go ahead now and save. So this is how you can creatively use these elements to create unique looking designs. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we go live or we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.